sequence n minus 1 factorial divided by n plus 1 factorial. So the first thing we want to do here is we want to think, well, we don't really see how to do this immediately. So we want to see, can we simplify this into something where we've got less going on? Factorials, it's kind of hard to see exactly what's going on with factorials. So maybe let's get a sense for, is there some way to cancel them? Can we expand things? We would realize, oh, they're both based around somewhat the similar thing, right? n plus 1 isn't very far from n minus 1. So we can expand the factorials so that we can cancel out based on that. So we've got n minus 1 factorial on top, n plus 1 factorial, well that's going to be n plus 1 times 1 less than that, which is going to be n, times 1 less than that, n minus 1 times 1 less than that. Well, if we keep going down forever, that's going to be n minus 1 factorial here. So we've got n minus 1 factorial on the top, and n plus 1 times n times n minus 1 factorial on the bottom. Well, we can cancel the n minus 1 factorials now. Now I've got the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 over n plus 1 times n. So now we can see as n goes off to infinity, well, our top, it doesn't change at all, right? It's just a constant in this case. So since our top isn't ever going to change, but our bottom, n plus 1 times n, that's going to get larger and larger and larger as n goes off to infinity. That means our bottom's growing, but our top's just staying the same. So in the long run, it's going to get crushed down to zero. The fraction will get crushed down to zero. So the limit of the sequence is zero. All right, so that finishes up for our exploration of limits in this course. We're now going to move on to derivatives, and we'll get a cool sense for how derivatives work. It's really great stuff. We're getting a chance to see a preview of calculus, which is going to be really useful for when you get to calculus, because we're setting a groundwork here that you'll then be able to draw upon later when you learn this stuff again. All right, we'll see you at educator.com later. Bye.